Hi guys, so today I'm with my brother-in-law. It is Thursday afternoon. It is the day after my um, operation was postponed and the day before my next operation is due. This is my brother Jason, say hello. Hi. And uh, Jason's come over very kindly this afternoon to help me um, just get on top of a few jobs, a few of the manual labour type jobs that um, will save my wife quite a lot of work later on today. So we're going to go together and pick up a load of uh, pig feed bins and what have you. We had a hard frost last night. You can see it has absolutely decimated the squash plants. You see at the back there of the bed. And also it looks like the bean plants have had it, which again, let's go and have a look. So the bean plants have been hit by that frost. Oh, these ones don't look too bad, but all the squash have had it. And I suspect it will be a same story for the courgettes. They might recover a little, but uh, not enough to worry about. And we've got plenty of courgettes already saved. So uh, yeah, my brother's just up there grabbing the empty bin, ready to go to the car. I'm going to just quickly throw a little bit of hay in for my other girls, and then we're gonna be off. So that's it, we just got back and uh, Jason's just lifted the first bin out and given it straight to him. How are we doing? This is the first time I've been up here actually, I think, or maybe the second feeding time since I, uh, since I fell. What do you think of the young ones then? Yeah, great. So they're, they're the boys and we'll be keeping, so sh um, the lighter big one is the one that we're ready to butcher now soon as uh, soon as I can and then in about six months these one of these boys will be butchered and then we'll keep one of the boys and this girl here and uh, that'll be our breeding pair so there's a bit of plastic waste that's been mixed in with the uh, fruit and veg there but I'll jump in and clear that up and uh, yeah thanks Jace then we'll be on to the next thing So, and I'm super grateful to Jason because this would have been something my wife was going to have to do after she got home from work, to come home, load up the bins, drive back out again, pick them up, come back. So um, she'll definitely appreciate this. So that's it. We've got all our, all our bins out now. So that's another two or three days for the animals. Um, while we were out, we also collected a load of uh, animal feed. We got some uh, goat and chicken feed because now the goats are pregnant we supplement their feed and uh, just give them that little bit extra. So we're gonna go and put that around quickly and then uh, that'll be it. That'll be it for Jace. And uh, it just, you know, makes an incredible difference to have, a, have, have some help. So I've just popped into the house to uh, grab a knife. One of the side effects to me being basically bedridden for 16 hours a day is I'm not carrying any of my usual stuff that I would carry on what I refer to as my utility belt I'm wearing sweatpants jogging bottoms no belt no pockets so I didn't have a knife on me I normally carry all sorts of equipment with me everywhere I go and uh, while I was in there I also quickly grabbed this uh, basket we use to collect eggs in because I'm going to be cheeky and see if I can ask Jason to collect our eggs for us as well while we're out and about to save my wife another job so i've come out to find jason and oh here he is i'm gonna rule that out there as they point it there no we'll drop uh, some of it off as we go yeah and as i said these girls are all pregnant now so we supplement their feed with some of this high yield goat mix so um we're going to drop this down to that bin you might be able to make out in the distance there along the fence line see it jace yeah that's where that's going to go and then there's going to be a trough nearby where you can give them a half a bucket or so so we'll get that done. And we're going to save just about half a bucket yeah. and just pop it in this trough. Yeah. You can try and get the rest of that bag just in that trough now and they'll all, they're all going to try and eat it out the bag and be right up in your face. So just do the best you can. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant, mate. 
Oh, shouldn't worry about that. They'll find it. They'll find it. So you were asking, Jace, this one with the horns, that's the boy. Yeah. And it's we've not bit me earlier. <laughs> we've not had him long, but he's got all those girls pregnant. Has he? Yeah. Lucky Jace. <laughs> So what's the story with these then? What's going to happen with these then, Cole? Well, these are for milk. So yeah. Um, yeah. these are all pregnant so that come March, April time, I will start milking them all again. And they'll produce, at peak yield, they'll be giving us, they'll be giving us maybe 20 pints a day. Well, we freeze a lot of it. Yeah. And we use a lot to make cheese, yogurt, ice cream. Um, but we don't keep them at peak yield. Yeah. We, don't, we don't actually produce that much. Um, we, we ease right back so we probably produce between 12 and 16 pints so these three are gonna give birth yep they'll give birth to one is it one or two usually we had so these three gave us four kids last year so you would potentially then be getting double the amount of milk then no because we sell the kids or we keep them and um butcher them for meat so we've filled up these two bins of feed now we've got a little bit more to get round but I'm going to ask Jason now, um, would you mind grabbing the eggs out of these two runs? No. Um, I'm putting a bag in there, aren't I? Yeah. So we... My wife's taken to putting a bag over it, and for good reason, it just holds the lid on that little bit more snugly, and it stops it getting either blown off, or even worse, getting um, pushed off by vermin or squirrels or anything like that. So now... I'm going to talk Jason through collecting the eggs, which sounds super simple. It's not necessarily as simple as just collecting the eggs because, of course, we've got these electric fences. So, um, Jace, could you please disconnect the, the red clip from the battery? The big red one. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's Jason. <laughs> um, and this electric fence is off now, so we can just walk straight over it. Um, if you could take that, mate. I'm not going to come in with you because... The last thing I want to do is fall over getting over the fence. Um, and then that, well, you probably work it out, that little door on the on the side. No, the bit on the side, buddy. Yeah, lift that up. And there's a catch. It should stay up quite easily. Yeah. The numbers are right down at the moment. They uh, they do tend to stop laying for a few weeks around now and, and early spring. So, plus we've introduced some new birds in here that aren't quite laying yet. What do they all lay in the same place for then? Because they like to lay somewhere that feels secure and small. So that's what that little box on the side is for, really. It, oh, okay. It, um, and then it's... Red for you here, yeah? Yeah, to take the red one off the battery. Um, and it's the same or similar procedure here, it's just a little bit less easy. This one I built first, so uh, it's not quite as simple, but I'll talk you through it. So if you get on in, mate, if you don't mind. It? Yeah, it's off, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you come this side, look, you see there's three light panels. Yep. So if you slide the thing up at the top that's holding it in, there's like a swivel thing at the top. Careful, because those eggs, those chickens will jump up in there <laughs> and knock them over. And then, right, so the one on the left, you just pull out. I know it's difficult. Do you want me to hold the basket for a minute? Or do you want to pull it up or out? Out towards you, slide it towards you. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, maybe well, just put it on the floor. On the floor. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Not like that one, is it? A little clip on it. And yeah, no, I built this one first. <laughs> that's it. And then just slide the whole thing out and pop it on the floor. Any eggs in that one? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Eight. Is that it? Uh, we've got two more to check. I'm not, my, like I say, Jackie normally does this, so I'm not sure that could well be it. Or exciting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is exciting, mate. No eggs. No. Okie dokie. So just 19 today. This is about, this is about as few as we would ever have. 19 a day is really low. We won't ever go lower than that number. And uh, when these guys are fully on it in the spring, we'll be getting probably 40 
to 50 a day. That's it, lovely. Brilliant, thank you very much for that. And then we just need to reconnect up the batteries. Well, that just goes on. got an audience. This, That's it, isn't it? Yes, yes, mate. Yeah, just like that. That's, That's great. Now. Say again. That's now. Yeah. Yep. Um, would you mind grabbing the eggs? We'll go put the other battery on and then just do these last few bags. So we've dropped off to the goats, the, the main egg laying flocks. We've dropped off just over there behind me against the wood, that bin for our meat chickens and our ducks. And the last stop is Poultry Paradise. And uh, I would say we probably have around where we're delivering feed like this, purchased feed, maybe once every two to three weeks. So, and again, as I, as I constantly tell you guys, um, the egg sales pay for all of it and then some. So we're at Poultry Paradise now. That was our run of beans this year. And that's wow. some mulch on top. Um, Look at these babies. Yeah, so these are my, these are my jack my jackies. These are my wife's uh, brahmas, big hens. Eggs. Very few, but some. They're the, um... they're more pets. Well, they're oh, a decorative okay. breed, but when we you can see in that run in the middle there, there's a couple yeah. of younger ones. Yeah. So um, she sits some of their eggs, and we will put them in in a poultry sale, and they'll sell for thirty or forty pound a pair. Very nice. Yeah. You know, as a, a decorative you breed. These, yeah? yeah, yeah, they went through our incubator. So we're all wrapped up now. Jace is carrying the rubbish for me, bless him. Uh, and that's, that's a huge, huge weight off my mind and a big task that otherwise my wife would have had to do when she gets home. So I'm incredibly grateful. So all that's left to do is say thank you, Jace. You're and, welcome. <laughs> and, uh, I think I'll wrap it up there. So thanks for watching and we'll speak to you guys soon.